Hi guys, it's your girl Kill Chemist, and it is December 31st, 2014, the end of another year, and I swear it seems like this year has flown by. Um, I know I have apologized many times, and I've been very inconsistent here on my channel, and yet you all still continue to subscribe and watch and check in on me. Um, thank you to all of my subscribers who have been with me uh, over the years. Thank you for supporting. Thank you for watching. In many cases, thank you for being my friends. Thank you for checking on me. Um, thank you guys um, who have decided to follow me on Instagram and you interact with me there. Thank you. Thank you so much. It means a lot to me. I hope you never think that I take that for granted. And thank you to all of my new subscribers. I know my content, my new content has not been very consistent, but I do have quite a few older videos. And I've noticed that some of you have been watching those videos and commenting on those videos. So thank you so much for realizing that although I haven't been posting a lot of new things, I do have quite a few videos here already. Um, and I do plan to do better in 2015. I just... You know, life has been hectic and crazy and busy and good, and there's been some highs and some lows, um, but I'm still here. It's the end of the year. I'm so blessed and so thankful. Um, I pray that you are blessed as well, that your families are blessed. Um, I pray that 2015 will bring you a lot of positive energy, positive things. Uh, for those of you that are wishing to expand and grow, I pray that that growth and that increase happens for you, whether it be in your personal life, your career, uh, you know, with family members, uh, if you're trying to start a new business or you're trying to finish school or whatever you're trying to do, I just pray that only positive, positive things happen. But please remember, in order to receive that positivity, you have to put it out. You absolutely have to put it out. And I, the older I get, the more I learn that. You know, in order to receive positive vibes, you have to put them out there. Because when no one's putting out the positive vibes, how can you get positive vibes, right? So, yeah, guys, I, I really just wanted to come on. It's the end of the year. Um, and just say thank you. And please stick with me. Um, feel free in the comment section below. Please comment below if there's certain things you really want to see from me in 2015. I will do my best to do that. I was thinking about doing some kind of like Q&A type videos where people can post questions and I actually do video responses. Um, so, yeah, guys, let me know in the comments below. Thank you so much. Um, I keep looking at the subscribers and for some reason the list keeps growing and growing. And I'm so thankful. So, without further ado, I'm going to do a quick outfit of the evening, and then I'm going to wish you adieu and hope to see you in 2015. So, let's get started. So, my hair, I just kind of made this little thing up here. I don't know why, I just, I'm wearing so many, like, glittery accessories, and yeah, I don't know. I'm just feeling, I'm just going to be New Year, I'm going to be baby New Year, okay, with this outfit. But, yeah. Um, so, I have this headband. I got this actually from the dollar store. It's like pewter, black, and silver, um, and I just kind of flipped my locks on the side in the front here. I just flipped them, you know, under and just around, kind of like my, some of my hairband styles that I've done, but I didn't do it all the way around, and I left the rest of the hair out, so that is what's going on with my hair. Um, on my face, let's go straight, you know, let's do the rest of the accessories. My earrings, I got these from Charming Charlie couple years back um, they were on clearance I think they might have been four dollars but aren't they awesome they're like black and silver and just glittery and oh, you know and I love the way that they just kind of blend in with my hair so yes I am working that I'm wearing this ring that I got from Walmart yes I know it looks fabulous and likes all glittery and stuff but I got it from Walmart and this bangle that I also got from Walmart is plastic black and white I think I got it for like three bucks on clearance and my face, I am wearing a BB cream. This light makes me look shiny, but I promise you I am not shining like that. Um, brows are filled in. I have just kind of a little smoky eye look that I created from my bootleg naked palette that I received from a certain website. I have a liquid lash line on top. Uh, on my cheeks, I am wearing Wet n Wild Berry Shimmer Blush. And on my lips, I am wearing... Old School Glam. I think this is one of the Fergie Collection lip colors from Wet n Wild. Love it. Um, and to set my whole face, even though, you know, I don't do full makeup all the time or anything, but I use this HD Set and Forget by Ruby Kisses. 
So that's what's going on on my face. I'm trying to serve a little something, give you a little cheekbone action. Yes. All right. And now to the outfit. So, oof, kneeling in tight pants. Don't do it, people. Um, so this shirt. Okay, you can't see me. Let's do this. Oh, this is better now. Okay, so this shirt, if you follow me on Instagram, and maybe if you watch some of my other outfit of the day or evening videos, I think, I could be wrong, I may have already done an outfit wearing this shirt. I know I wore this to the Jay-Z and Beyonce concert um, earlier this year, um, and I actually made this shirt for that. I know I posted pictures on Instagram. I think I did an outfit of the day, but maybe I did and maybe I didn't. Probably did not actually. But anyway, this is the shirt. Um, it is a knit fabric that has sequins already kind of attached to it um, in this sort of animal print design. It is a charcoal gray shirt. It's not black, but I just really wanted to wear it with black and other color accessories. Um, but one thing I'll point out about this fabric is instead of turning it under, you know, giving it that clean edge like that. I decided to give it a more casual feel. I actually flipped the fabric the opposite way up so that you can see the underside of the fabric. I think it gives the shirt more of a kind of casual sort of look so that you could wear it um, with just jeans if you want to or you could dress it up. I actually have happened to have another piece of this fabric so I can show you that here. So this is what the fabric looked like before I sewed it or anything. Um, I'm actually probably going to think about making a skirt or something from it, but I haven't decided what I'm going to do with the rest of it. But yeah, so it's just like a knit, stretchy fabric. And so yeah, um, you know, if you've been following me here on my channel and definitely on Instagram, you know that I have really gotten into sewing this year. So um, yeah, so that's the shirt. On the bottom, I am wearing these like wax textured like pants. These were really popular, I guess, a couple years back. They were kind of like the waxed jeans where they look like the fabric has like wax overlay or painted overlay. Um, can't remember. I might have got these from Charlotte Russe or I don't remember exactly, but I bought them online. I didn't really wear them a whole lot when I first bought them, but I actually like them now. And on the bottom, I'm wearing this cute little booty shoe. I have had this shoe huh, probably more than a decade. Uh, what I recently did, let me show it to you real quick. What I recently did is I, the heel was messed up, so I took it to a local repair shop and had them replace this little piece on the bottom, and they shined them up, and they're as good as new, um, but yeah, it's a pretty old pair of shoes. Um, they're actually a seven and a half, and I can no longer even dream about fitting into seven and a half in stores so it's been a while since I was able to wear seven and a half so yeah guys that's the outfit I'm about to head out to uh, my friends gathering I'm ringing the new year and uh, yeah I hope that see you watching and commenting and liking and all that stuff in 2015 I hope you're well I wish you well um, just again positive energy you guys all right bye see you next year